Hey guys, Pogosick29 here with video number 12. Today we are going to learn uh, about making signs in our plugins. So you can actually allow users to um, make signs, and when the signs are uh, interacted, then something will happen to your uh, to the user. So for this example, we're going to go back into our medic plugin, and we are going to make a heal sign. So when you right click on it, it will give you, it'll, you know, heal you. Uh, now once you're done, you can go back and make a feed sign, and you can also add permissions uh, and, you know, whatever you need to do. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to delete all this stuff just because I don't really like it. Alright, so for the sake of this, I'm actually going to make the, uh, I'm going to make the listeners the in a different class because these commands are pretty big so I'm gonna go ahead and right click here and then make a new class and I will call it uh, you can call it whatever you want I can call I'll just call it medic listeners you could call it sign listeners you know whatever you want just make sure that this implements implement implements listener and go ahead and import listener Okay, so we're going to be using two uh, listeners for this, the player interact event and the sign change event. So let's go ahead and do the sign change event. So just like a regular uh, listener, public void on sign change. This is a sign change event. And now what we're going to be doing in this event is we are going to, uh, you know, we're going to check if the sign, like this this event is called every time a sign is changed. And then we're going to say that if the sign is changed or whatever, then we're going to check and see if it's a heal sign. If it is, then we're going to give it a special color so that people know that it's, you know, a special sign. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if e dot get line zero because remember that uh, it starts with line zero because that's how Java works then you're gonna say dot equals ignore case heal just like this so what we're saying is we're getting the first line of the sign and we're saying that if it equals health and we're saying they can type it in any case but as long as it's health they're going to do e dot set line zero and then the line is going to say this symbol with a three, let's say, and then heal. So this little symbol right here, that actually represents the color in Minecraft. So on a Mac, you can get that by doing option and six. Uh, I don't know how you would do that on a PC, but you can always go to the code in the description and uh, copy that symbol if you can't get it yourself. So now what we've done is we've set that line to heal and We've changed the color to what you get when you type the and sign in three, which is sort of like a, I think it's a teal, teal blue kind of color. So that's all we need for the sign change event. That'll make the sign distinguishable. Now you could also say e dot set line, you know, one, and then we can say option, sorry, it's three, click here to get healed. to get healed. Okay, so now we're gonna actually do most of the code. So event handler public void on player interact. And this is a player interact event. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to say if exclamation point e dot get action equals equals action dot right click block return and you're going to want to import action so what we've just done is this event is called whenever a player does an action so we're just saying we're making sure that they've that they right clicked a block if they didn't right click a block then we're stopping the code there so it doesn't bother to continue now we're going to say if e dot get 
sorry, it's e dot get clicked block dot get state instance of sign, and then you're gonna want to import sign, the block, not the material. So now what we're saying is we're getting the right clicked block, and then we're getting its state. And if we're saying that it's a sign, then we're gonna say sign s equals sign e dot get clicked block dot get state. So now we are casting. We're saying first we checked if it's a sign, and since we know it's a sign, then we're declaring that it's a sign. So now we can say if s dot get line zero because this is a property of a sign. And now that we know it's a sign, we can do this. Dot equals ignore case, and then we're gonna say this little symbol three heal. Then we're going to say e dot get player dot set health twenty and e dot get player dot send message dot green sorry green you were healed and that is all you're going to do if you wanted to make a uh, feed sign you would just from right here you would copy this change that to uh, feed, you know, change set food level and say you were fed, and then here you would change it, you know, feed, and then you would say heal, click, uh, feed, click here to get fed. So that is all one thing we need to register our events. Bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events. And then we're going to say this comma new medic listeners. And then you're going to, um, okay. Oh, you know what? I think. Okay. So first you need to say the listener and then you have to say this. So medic listeners, that's the listener because it implements listener. And this is the plugin because it extends Java plugin. So it is a plugin. So now we are going to go ahead and export this. And again, you'd want to, you know, add permissions to make sure that people so that players can't just place signs themselves and then have unlimited health. So let's go ahead and start up the server. Oh, you know what? We completely forgot about the... Oh, sorry, we do have the plugin.yml because we were editing a another... Uh, hang on one second, let me... Sorry, I was testing this out before the video and I forgot to delete my test plugin. Okay. So now we can go ahead and connect to the server. And that's an old sign. Okay. So now we can go ahead and place a sign and type heal at the top. And then as you can see, it says heal us to get healed. Oh, because we forgot to change that. So, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and fix it just so I can show you guys. And, okay. And then let me delete this sign, move it, and place a new one. So, if you type heal, then it will say heal. Click here to get healed. So, we know that our uh, sign change event is working. Now let's go ahead and fly up in the air and then go down. And if we right click on it, we get our health back and it says you were healed. So there you go guys, you just learned about making uh, custom signs by making a heal plugin, a heal sign that will change colors when it's placed and it will heal you when you right click it. Uh, one more thing, if you wanted to also allow left clicks or only allow left quick clicks, you could say if e at action equals equals right click block or e at action equals equals action dot left click block. And that would also work. So that's all, guys. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment below with what you want to learn. And uh, that's all. Thank you.